about to see something I've never seen before. Dr. Rao says that the man we're about to meet is destined to go down in medical history. This is Paul Carazon, uh, son, who's 14 years ago, an ordinary looking man with fair skin and freckles. There he is. Now, when he walks down the street, people stare in disbelief because he is blue. Yes, you are blue. Oh my God. <laughs> Here he is. You are blue. You're blue. You're blue. You are blue. <laughs> this is a first on the Oprah show. We have never had a blue man. Have a seat. Have a seat. Thank you. So how did this happen? You weren't born blue, obviously. <laughs> and it's not makeup. I know for all of you who are watching at home, it looks, it looks strange. It looks blue. Well, it all started when I saw an ad in a magazine. Yeah. It was for a colloidal silver generator. About the same time, I heard that colloidal silver was useful for treating petroleum poisoning. And I had a friend that had petroleum poisoning from working in a machine shop from the time he was, oh gosh, I don't know, seven or eight years old. Yeah. I ordered the generator. And I would go see him every day, and we'd uh -huh. each make a glass of colloidal silver, and we'd, and we'd drink it. And, uh, and you were drinking it for his petroleum poisoning? Well, I figured I might as well drink it, too, if it was such wonderful stuff. Yeah, because you thought it was going to do what for you? I had no idea. But why would you drink it if you didn't think it was going to have some health benefits? Oh, I wasn't going to say, here, take this. You know, yeah. I thought the, the, the kindest thing to do was to take it with him. You know, just make him more comfortable with the idea. And uh, it was about that time that I noticed it having some interesting effects. Like what? For me. Well, I'd had a problem with acid reflux. Mm -hmm. uh, in less than three days, that was just gone. So I kept taking it, drinking mm -hmm. it. Drinking it every day? Yeah, oh, yeah. And drinking how much of it? I don't, I don't oh, know what little... Oh, at, at least a 10-ounce tumbler. A 10-ounce tumbler? A 10-ounce tumbler. But it wasn't, it wasn't very strong. No, I, mean, <laughs> I just mean, what is colloid, colloidal silver? What is that? Uh, this is what it looks like, colloidal silver. By the way, it's, you know, it's, it's a very old therapy. And it, yeah. For thousands of years, humans have realized that, that when you put silver in solution... Uh, it actually is bad for bacteria. And what ends up happening is the blue gets into your cells, the silver, is called argyria. And, yeah. and you know how you get silver in a photographic plate when it gets exposed to sun, it turns a color? Yeah. Or, well, or, or light even? Well, the same thing happened to you. Uh, you basically tattooed your entire body uh, with this silver. And we, by the way, still use silver in some instances. When little babies are born, to make sure that they, they don't get a sexually transmitted disease as they're being uh, pushed out. We actually put it in their eyes in silver nitrate. We use it for burns. So there are some places where mm -hmm. it plays medical. And, I, you know, I, I dabbed a little bit of colloidal silver on things like cat scratches before, and it was, it was, the effect was remarkable. I, I'm not disagreeing yeah, yeah, with, yeah, the, yeah. with the well, possibility that colloidal silver can have a benefit. Oh, yeah. But, but you're making it yourself, yep. which means you don't actually know for sure how much is in the, in the solution. And despite the change in his skin color, Paul kept drinking the stuff because he says it cured ailments like sinus problems and even arthritis. Paul showed me how he makes it. I use distilled water and then I take this apparatus here. It looks like a high school science experiment. Paul attaches electrodes to a strand of silver wire. He sends a current into the water which extracts the silver. After about 15 minutes, the dissolved silver turns the water into a milky liquid. Paul's fiance, Jackie, drinks the stuff too. And it's called Argyria. Joining us to talk about it, dermatologist Dr. Ava Shamban. Uh, doctor, thanks again for being with us. So did he basically give that to himself because of his own concoction? This is, was the, the result, the blue skin? Yes, he did. In fact, people take colloidal silver to treat dermatitis and even arthritis. Precious metals have been used for centuries, actually for millennia. They began in use in ancient Egypt, also in the ancient civilizations of Greek and Rome, to treat various skin problems where there were, there were no other treatments. And of course, he's taken it to an extreme. Is there any cure? Was there any way to reverse that? No, sadly, there's no way to reverse it. And once you're blue, you're always blue. When did you start to notice, hey, I'm a little blue? It wasn't until a friend came by. A friend came by. 
and who hadn't seen me in a while. And he looks at me, and he goes, what did you do? I said, well, what are you talking about? He said, well, what do, you, what do you got on your face? I said, I don't have anything on my face. He said, well, yes, you do. You better come here. And he stood in front of a mirror with me, and then I thought, oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Gee, I'm well, blue. Golly, <laughs> golly. 